Right then, are you ready for this one? So it says, um, so the figure of eight there is modelled by these two equations. In the x direction, 8 cos 20 t. In the y direction, 12 sine 10 t minus pi by 3. Now notice the 10 and the 20. The x zips backwards and forwards twice as fast as the y. And if you trace the x value, say from here, if I traced from here going this way around the curve, I go across to there, then I go back to here, then I go back to there, then I go back to there. So if I'm tracing just the x values given, it zipped backwards and forwards twice. But if you look at the y values, so say for instance I go from here on the y values, so if I trace it round, it goes up. So I trace it around going all the way around to there. And then I go down and back to where it was. There. So it's quite interesting. This is the 20 T and the 10 T. Right, the X zipped backwards and forwards twice. Whereas the Y just went up and down once. What I meant to say was don't draw that bit on because it'll mess it all up. Which is interesting to see how how that the 10 and the 20 actually play out on the graph, how the x values have zipped backwards and forwards twice, whereas the y values have just gone up once. Right then, so it says, find it at the beginning of its motion. So let's set t equals zero then. So x is eight cos of naught. So that's just 8. And y is 12 sine 10 lots of naught minus pi by 3. If you put that in your calculator, you get minus 6 root 3. So the start point is 8 across and minus 6 root 3 down. So I'd say its start point is here. There, that's its start point, isn't it? So I've done that bit there for t is zero. So then it says find the coordinates of the points where the figure skaters intersect their own points. Now you can see that that's there, isn't it? When y is zero. So the cross when y is zero from the picture. So I've used the picture when y is zero. So what have I got? So I've got zero is 12 lots of sine 10t minus pi by 3. So ditch the 12. We're going to do this proper, like proper trig. So if I do the inverse sine of zero, that's the same as 10t minus pi by 3. Now, uh, where are we? Where are we? So that's going to give out a zero. Now let's think about this, how, oops, how it works for the X, for the, what we're we doing here, for the different values, because it zips backwards and forwards, doesn't it? So it kind of, like we've got two kind of points there, so there could be more values because of it, because it crosses over. So I'm going to look at, uh, let's see, so I'm going to get pi by 30, so I'll have a pi by 3 is 10t. But then really for the cos graph, I'll have, that, I'll have the next one along, and then I'll have the next one along. But really, if you think about it, like I said to you, the y value only went up and down once. So you've got this skater going round, going up, and then going round, coming back down. So really, I only want the two values. But my problem is, I don't know if it's that first one or the second one, or the second one or the third one. So they're equal to 10t. So then I've got pi by 30. Uh, that'd be four pi, uh, 4 pi by 30, so 2 pi by 15. And then 7 pi by 30. Now, as it happens, like I said, the up and down bit, because it's only up and down 
twice, these actually give the same um, the same value, or they all kind of give the same value to the far. So if I sub this in for x equals uh, where is it? Where is it? Eight cos of twenty t. It gives out minus four, but if you look, there's only one point, so all of them are going to give the same value, it's always going to be minus four, which you can read off the map anyway. So it doesn't matter, these are all the same. And that's because they cross each other. Because if you imagine, I can just keep going round and round with this figure of eight forever. One loop does it twice, but then you got to do, we can do another loop, and that's just your next t value or log loop. So the coordinates will be minus 4 and 0 for that one. So we've got that for a second, so we can get that bit down. Right. So let's have a look at c now. So c says, so I've done that one, c says find the coordinates where the path crosses the skater on the x-axis. So if you're on the x, uh, is it C? No, yeah, y-axis, sorry, isn't it? So if it's the y-axis, I'm looking at x is 0. So I've got 0 is equal to 8 cos 20. So 0 is cos 20, cos to the, mi cos to the minus 1 of 0 is 20. Uh, so that would give us zero out, wouldn't it? Uh, so it's going to pi by two, sorry. Pi by two is 20. Uh, right now, then, let's have a look in terms of this activity. Because remember me saying I kind of go forwards, go back, go forwards, go back. So I need to look at the first four values for this one. So I'd have, uh, where is it, where is it? So I'd have pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, and 7 pi by 2. Well, that's for 20t, so I've got to divide through by 20. So my t values would be pi by 40, 3 pi by 40, 5 pi by 40, 7 pi by 40. And the trick to this is thinking, if I did a full circle, how many times am I moving backwards and forwards? And I kind of did it at the start, didn't I? Right, now this would give out... Oops, my light's gone out. Hang on, just wandering over to the centre. Hang on. So this would give out... Um, where are we? So the t over 40 gives a y value out of minus 3. 0.11, so that's a coordinate of 0 minus 3.11. Then if I sub in the rest of them, if I sub in the 3 pi over 4 into 3 pi over 40 into y, that gives me 0 and 11.59, and then 0 and 3.11, and then 0 and 11.59. There. That kind of matches on the graph, doesn't it? Really? <sighs> Tired now. We've got one minute left as well. So one complete figure of eight. Right, let me pause this a second. I'm running out of time, so I'm going to give you like little bits. So I know where the start point is, and I'm going to solve each equation equal to the start point. I'm just going to pause that and write that down. So I'm seeing where they could going to get the t values out and see where they cross together. I'm going to solve this. I'm going to write down the solving bit for this now. Hang on. I've got the first values out. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is write down all the values and see when they get the same value again. I've done that, and if you can see, so I've solved it, a bit, bit that I had messed to do. I've got the pi by 5 comes up again. Up. So that's the time it takes, uh, because it's when the time is the same. Right, so the time is pi by 5 to do a full um, circuit. I've run out of time now. That's quite a big question. Right, I'll see you later. Come on.